uh, like a, a, f a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, how have you been? Good. How was the Bali? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. And is there a temple nearby your place? Well, not really nearby. It's it's kind of late. It takes like one hour to get there. Yeah, like it's, it's all the temples are like around an hour, right? Mm -hmm. But it's good that you go to the temple, though it's one hour distance away. Hi, Krishna yeah. Smriti. You want to say something, Smriti? Yes, Mataji, on Diwali, I got a, a high fever. So that's why we had planned so many things, but we couldn't do it because I got a fever on Diwali. Oh, can I see you or is it okay? You are just on audio? Mataji, I'm eating, Mataji. Okay, no worries. If you if you still, whatever is convenient for you, okay? Smriti, you know what? I have the same story. On Diwali day, my son was down with fever just after the uh, morning Abhyangasnan. And he caught mm -hmm. fever, and then it was like he was the only he was the only one who was doing everything. So we were feeling Diwali because of him, Ashutosh, and he was sick, and it was a big mess. After that, my Prabhu was sick, then I was sick, so it just went on and on. Hi Krishna, Vikram, is it Vikram? Mataji, it's me, Isha. Hi Krishna, Isha. Hi Bol, good to see you. Look at your long curls. <laughs> okay, so Advait is there. Advait, whenever you Hare want. Krishna, to... Badaji, this is Bala Vrinda. Bala I haven't seen my Bala Vrinda also for a long time. Look at your long hair. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen you, Advait. Whenever you are comfortable, you can be uh, on video, okay? Abhigya, can you have your a little bit camera down so that I can see you completely? Mataji, I'm eating, so... Okay, no worries. So when are you calling me for dinner? <laughs> when will you come? <laughs> Whenever you all come to India, you have to visit me, okay? Okay, Mataji. You have to call me that, Mataji, I'm here. Can we meet up? Okay. Okay, now that it is dinner time, today of today our verse... Or today our topic is related to our prashadam also, okay? And we will talk a little bit more about it. So what we'll do is we'll share our screen and then we'll start with our class, okay? Mataji? Yes? So, are yes, we going to uh, talk about Tusi Shaligram Viva because today... Yeah, we are uh, for the back to Godhead. I have the Tulsi uh, Tulsi glories of uh, Mother Tulsi. Okay, we'll have uh, that as well. And maybe one class we can have it dedicated for uh, Tulsi uh, glories of Tulsi Maharan. Okay, Murthy's presentation tomorrow's glories of Tulsi Maharani only. Oh, is it? Wow, I'll try to join up. Okay, uh, Radha. Ra whose who's presentation, Mataji? Radha's, no? Smriti. Smriti, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so today I've changed my slides a little bit so that a little bit new into the new C. <laughs> the colors have changed. And also... Ah, that's so pretty. That's light blue, purple, orange. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I like the colors. You love the colors? So nice. Yeah, I really love it. It's like a it's like a sunset shade, Madhuji. Don't you know daylight saving game one hour move? Yes. But yeah. I guess they are going to stop. I don't know if it is true or false. Well, Madhuji, do you know anything? Prithilas and Madhuji? Uh, it seems that they are going to stop the daylight saving from next year. You I've heard about I don't know. Sir. Krishna was saying about it. I don't know how is it. I heard that I heard that um it's they're going to stop it because that was mm -hmm. only useful for farmers. Right. So maybe we will be yeah. right. Mataji, I heard they I, on the on the go back in time. Like the, they go like back. Yeah, like so let's see. And they just move it like to eleven. 
Right. So let's see what they will follow. Will they will follow the November time or will they follow the September, the March time? Let's see. Okay. So what we will do is you all can unmute if you all are okay. And then we can say our prayers. Om Ajnanati Mirandasya ने <laughs> Namaste, Namaste, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Namaskara Okay, so uh, Abhigya, okay, Abhigya is having a food, no worries. Isha, can you uh, read the translation for us for the prayers? Yes, Mataji. I was born in darkness, ignorance, and my by my spiritual master opened my eyes with the torch of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisances unto him. Uh, Radha, can you read the second one? Okay, Mataji. I offer my respectful obeisances unto His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is very dear to Lord Krishna, having taken shelter at His lotus feet. <coughs> Abhinav? Our respectful obeisances are unto you, O spiritual master, servant of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. You are kindly preaching to them the message of Lord Chaitanya, Ch Chaitanya Deva and delivering the Western countries, which are filled with impersonalism and voidism. Very good. Balavrinda? Yes, Mataji. Can you read the translation, please? Yeah, I offer my obeisances to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, um, Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, she has Veda Gadadara, she was and all other in the in the line of devotion. Very good. Thank you so much. Did you, Mataji, yes. did you know I'm writing the story of Alanath? You're writing it? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. When you're done, please show it to us, okay? I'm only writing one page of it. Very good. Slow and steady with neat and clean handwriting. Good job. Okay. So what we'll do is last week also, I think you all recited this verse, right? 1.2.11 from the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Smriti, do you want to read it out? You want to uh, recite the yes. verse? Yes, Mataji. Valam tat tatva vidas tatvam yajnana matvayam brahmeti paramameti bhagavan iti sabdhyate. Very good. Then we have, uh, who else? Isha? Hare Krishna, Mataji. Tatvedi tatvedi tatva vida. Uh, vadanti, beta. Vadanti. It start from Vadanti. Vadanti tatva vidas. Tatva tat 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 tatva vidas. Tatva yajna yajna abhyam brahmeti parmameti bhagwa bhagwaneti sabaya. Sab dete. Okay. Radha. Radha? Uh, 
वदन्ति तत्त्वविदास तत्त्वम् यज्ञानमत्वयम् ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान् इति शब्द्यते अभिज्ञा वदन्ति तत्त्वविदास तत्त्वम् यज्ञानमत्वयम् ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान् इति शब्द्यते हरे कृष्ण माता जी बाल वृंदा मातृची वदन्ते दद्वाविदस दद्वाम्यज्ञानम् व्ययम् ब्रह्मेदि बारमादेदि भगवानेदि सब्यते। Very good. Then अभिनव वदन्ते तत्त्वविदस तत्त्वम्यज्ञानम् अव्यक अव्ययम् ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान इति सब्यते। Then अद्वैत ओके माची वरंती तत तत्व विदास तत्व ज्ञान माव्ययम मामेति पर मामेति भगवानी सब ये थे ठीक है माची जी वेरी गुड ओके डिड एवरीबॉडी गेट अ चांस टू रीड इट एम आई मिसिंग एनीवन ओके या अभिज्ञ कैन यू रीड द ट्रांसलेशन फॉर अस प्लीज Okay, Mataji. Learn transcendentalists who know the absolute truth call this non-dual call this non-dual substance Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. Hey, Krishna Mataji. Okay, so stop this. Okay. So now, after this verse. So this again for this week we'll have this verse and then we'll start with the next verse okay and then one uh, one week what we'll do is whatever verses we have learned till now from the Srimad Bhagavatam these are the important verses again which everybody should know so we'll just see how many how far you all have come so now we are on canto three somebody knows which canto we are on which verse we are doing Any idea? We are on Canto 3, Chapter 16. Yes, Canto 3, Chapter 16 and the verse number 8, okay? And the chapter's name is oh, Krishna. <coughs> The Two Doorkeepers. Let me have this put up over here. One second. So that I can see it properly. Yeah, the two doorkeepers of Vaikuntha, Ja and Vijaya, cursed by the sages. Okay, now see in the last, uh, uh, in the last few, I think last month also we have done this, wherein we had the Damodar story also related to it, right? But then the this chapter or in this canto, this chapter is very beautifully the Lord has instructed it okay and the Lord has given instructions in uh, in different forms wherein the Lord describes what all how what he uh, what the Vaishnavas are what the devotees are and how we should be uh, interacting with them okay who else has not read anything Hare Krishna Satvik. Hare Bol. Satvik, do you want to read this translation of the eighth verse from chapter 16? Okay. Whenever you feel comfortable, you can come on a video, okay? I do not enjoy the oblations occurred by the sacrifices in the sacrificial fire, which is one of my own notes, which with this game relish as I do the, the delicacies. The, the delicacies overflowing with the ghee, which are offered to the mouths of the Brahmanas, who have dedicated to me the results of their activities and who are ever satisfied with my sada. Very good. And who are ever satisfied with my prasad. Okay. So this, who is this I? What do you think? Who is this I who is talking? 
Krishna. Krishna, the Lord is talking, right? The Lord is talking that I do not enjoy. Does the Lord say, have you ever seen in any temple, the Lord is saying, okay, give me this, give me that to eat. What is, what is the Lord hungry for? What do you feel? What does the Lord, Lord really need from us? Devotion. Devotion. What results else? From, results from our activities like off. off. Very good. Very good results. Wow. Look at Smriti all in pink. So results from our activities, like whatever you do, you just offer it to the Lord, right? How many of you say, oh, I studied very hard and I got 100% in my exam. Look at Satvik. Wonderful. I've just taken the same picture, you know, Satvik. In one of our prayers, I'll just want to show you. Uh -uh, where did it go? Uh oh, where did it go? One second, okay. I think I have taken this prayer. Where did it go? One second. I did take this picture somewhere. Ha, see, Satvik, we have a similar photo over here on the screen, right? The same as you have the, uh, as your backdrop, the same we have. Okay, so coming back to our, yes, coming back to our verse. So, the Lord does not say anywhere, you know what, that give me uh, any specific substance, right? The Lord is waiting for our devotion, for our desire. And also, uh, like, yeah, what I was saying, how many of you are like, oh, you know what, I studied really hard and it's all my, uh, my efforts that I've got good marks in the exam. How many of you say? Palavrinda is saying something, but I can't hear you. Somewhat, right? Many of us we we try to yeah, like yeah, we always try to say like yes, it's me. I say, me my, I say that to my friends. You say it to your friends, but deep in your heart, what do you know? That Krishna is helping me. I'm doing that. <laughs> Krishna is Krishna is the one who will give you the power for remembrance. Okay, so then remembrance and forgetfulness. Okay, the kittens are today dancing here and there. So I just have to keep on <laughs> Where are they? I want to see it. They are everywhere. Now I have to get detached Mati, from them. Why did you get kittens? Mm, oh, they always months. come around from her house. <laughs> yes. And they're always here and there. And they thought that I've woken up. So they thought it's like 7.30, their feeding time. So they are everywhere now. <laughs> okay. So then... The Lord, what he says, I do not enjoy that. Like God is saying that, yes, you are offering everything. But then if we are going to offer it in the right way, that is going to be important. Okay, now we're going to see what is exactly the right way of offering it. So what we will do is we'll read the uh, our prashadam prayer. So what happens is when you are offering, many a time, like because we are in a hurry, you try to just do it in a short way, right? In a quick, quick way. But today what we'll do is we'll just read out the prasadam prayers also. So uh, one at a time we can do it. I'm writing the prasadam prayers in Alanath's story right now. <laughs> oh, is it? Wow. So, such a coincidence, right? Okay, yeah. Balvan, we'll start from you. Can you start with the first verse? Yeah. Nama. Oh, wait. Na Nama. Nam Om Vishnu Padaya. Nam Om Vishnu Padaya. Gaja Vasaya Bhutale. Shiva Devakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine. Very good. Abhinav, the next one. Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pacharine. Nirvisesa Sunyavadi Pasyanti Deshatarine. Okay, then we have Advait. Namo Mahavadanya, Yakishta Prima Padayate, Krishna, Krishna Chesa, Namine go to Shena Maha. Very good. Isha? Isha? Namo Bhagavad Brahmanya Devya Go Devaya Devaya Go Brahmane Hitya Hitayacha Hitayacha Gan 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 Gan
Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Nama. Very good. Okay. So these are the prayers which we should recite. Radha. Hari Bol Radha. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Radha, can you read the translation for us over here? Yeah. My Lord, you are the well-wisher of the cows and the brahmanas. And you are the well-wisher of the entire human society and world. Okay. Uh, then we have Smriti. Can you read this translation, please? Oh, most munificent incarnation. You are Krishna himself appearing as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You have assumed the golden color of Srimati Radharani. And you are widely distributing pure love of Krishna. We offer our respectful obeisances, obeisances onto you. Very good. Okay. So these are the prayers which are each prayer is recited thrice. Uh, remembering your spiritual master and then it is offered to the Lord. So when, whenever, whatever you are offering, see to it that if you can follow this procedure and to, to begin with, you can just have the Pranam Mantras. But if you can have all this done in a proper way, it will be much more wonderfully done. Okay. And then see, when you have the offerings also, it is offered according to the Parampara. Okay. And then it is offered to the Lord, whatever bhoga, whatever food you are offering, it should be offered in this way. Now, why are we talking about this is, okay? Now, over here, what is the picture that you see? I see people... Uh... Is it prasadam distribution? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? Maharaj. Maybe it's a procession. We, I think it's a rathyatra. And then they are distributing prasadam, right? It looks like a Radhyatra, like they're yeah, um, like higher a, above everyone else. It looks like a Radhyatra and then they are uh, distributing the prasadam. So now over here, the, when we are offering prasadam, okay, I will have one slide for you all. Where is it? Yeah. Now, the question is, who is a real Brahmana? Okay. Now, what did the Lord say over here? We'll go back with the verse where the Lord said something to us, right? The Lord said, I do not enjoy the oblation. Who, who follows all the shastras, I guess so? Yes, yeah, yeah, we'll come to it, okay? <coughs> Offered by the sacrifices in the sacrificial fire, which is one of my own mouths, with the same, uh, with the same relish as I do the delicacies overflowing with ghee which are offered to the mouths of the brahmanas right this brahmanas word is emphasized over here we just mark it a bit more yeah so then who are the real brahmanas is the main question when the lord is talking about brahmana so let us see who is the real brahmana that is talking about is the one who is going to take your prashadam or who is going to uh, honor your prashadam is that a brahmana or the one who is meditating is a brahmana or the one who is doing the, the fire the sacrifice. one who is meditating one who is doing only the fire fact sacrifice is the brahmana or one who is just traveling is a brahmana what do you think one who is meditating Ramji, i think they're all brahmanas because all the mainly all brahmanas do all that yes so all the, yes this is radha i think the one that's distributing prashad is the Brahmana. Okay. The one that's distributing prasadam the is the real Brahmana. Okay. But Mata, he's distributing or he's taking? <laughs> that's also a good question. <laughs> because I heard you say taking prasadam. That's why I got confused. <laughs> See, one picture can be perceived in such different ways, right? Uh, um, Abhinav is right because he's distributing. I never saw the hand over here. When he said distributing that time, I just looked into the picture. I said, yes, he's distributing prasadam. He's not taking prasadam. He's distributing it. Right. So then now there are, see, like if one is going to do only one specific way of following the, um, for only one specific way, you will not be calling that person as a Brahmana, right? A Brahmana should be a person who will be, uh, who is going to impart knowledge, one who is following the uh, scriptures, one who is following himself and he's preaching. Uh, Abhinav, you have something to say? 
Uh, when he is distributing prasadam, that prasadam gives knowledge yes. and understanding to right. the ones right. who eat. Right. So uh, knowledge through, uh, through action and knowledge through the scriptures also, right? And then one who is following the Vedic uh, methods of doing the sacrifices or Vedic methods of doing everything. So one who is going to follow all these. And basically, you know what? A Brahmana is a person who is going to be compassionate towards each and every living being. He is not going to differentiate according to the, according to the caste creed, right? So... Uh, as we have seen in our further earlier chapters, right? A person, it's, uh, the occupation of the person is not going to be according to the uh, varna he is just born into. What he's taking up also decides what the person is. So the Lord is talking about this specific Brahmana that when you are going to please the Vaishnavas. So basically for us in this Kali Yuga, we are not talking about any, uh, even we are not talking about many sacrifices because in this Kali Yuga, none of these sacrifices are going to be important or none of these sacrifices will be valid. So what it is that how a compassionate a person is and how much through that person we are getting connected to the Lord. That is very, very important. Okay. So if any person is not getting you closer to the Lord, that, that person will not be a true Vaishnava, right? If he's going to take you away from the Lord, okay, you know what? Just cook and eat, cook and eat. Cook, eat, distribute. But if he's not offering it to the Lord, will this be prasadam? No. no right? If this person is meditating, but he's not imparting you any knowledge about the Lord, will that help you all? Will that help us all? No. If this fire sacrifice is done and he's very proud, yes, I am following the Vedic rituals. I am a Brahmana. Give me this. Give me that. Will he be called as a Brahmana? No. So whatever you are going to, whatever these so-called Brahmanas will do, if it is not reaching the Lord, if it will Madhuri, be not. Yes. Or something. If you are a Brahmana, you can't be proud that you're being a Brahmana. Otherwise, you're not even a Brahmana. That's what yes. the Brahmana is. They're pure, they're calm, and they're nice. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So then this is what... Uh, where did it go? Yeah. So this is what is the uh, real Brahmana when the Lord says that the Brahmana should be pleased. And then eventually I will be pleased by those offerings. Right? So see over here also. Now, the Lord accepts sacrificial offerings from the brahmanas and devotees and elsewhere it is stated that whatever is given from the brahmanas and vaishnavas to eat is also accepted by the lord and that is the reason when you are offering we are offering it in the proper way so that you are following the proper parampara now there is a story related to this which is mentioned in this uh, in the purport of this verse it is about Advaita Acharya and Haridas Thakur. Okay. Now the story goes in this uh, this way is that see Advaita Acharya and Haridas Thakur, they had been calling for the Lord. They had been praying that the Lord descends in this world so that whatever wrong is going on or the Lord is needed in this world that time. And Advaita Acharya, he performed Tulsi Puja on the banks of the Ganges. And he was like, he was calling for the Lord with intense, intensely he was calling for the Lord. And so was Haridas Thakur. We all know, right? Uh, like the Namachari Haridas Thakur, we say. So he was, he was chanting and Haridas Thakur was doing his puja. So they were always in devotion. They were always in the service of the Lord. Now, just to go into a back history is, Haridas Thakur, according to his birth, uh, according to his birth, he was from a um, he was from a Mohammedan family. Okay, he was from a Mohammedan family, but he had taken to the shelter of the holy name of the Lord, and he used to always keep on chanting. And see, like what we say is like if when there is a room filled with always, we give this example, right? If you are passing through a room, which Isha, you have some question? Yes, Mataji, I thought Haridas Thakur was from a Muslim family. 
yeah muslim is a momedian momedian or a muslim family okay so then when you are passing from a room which is filled with with nice perfume nice essence if you're passing through that room what will happen once you come out of that room how will you, you smell? smell all the bad things mataji no no perfume means like suppose nice smell incense sticks a nice smell is there in a room and you oh, are passing um, that, that smell will stay there you will be sad you won't smell it anymore yeah but then what will your body smell like bad good why bad good good, good. good. perfume good. <laughs> perfume and good incense sticks and good nice smell so your body will also have that smell right somebody yeah. will ask you oh or suppose okay well, let me give you an, a nice example suppose you're going to the temple and after the narsi rp you have the uh, narsi stick put on your uh, hand right and then you are already in the temple environment so there's nice nice dhoop everywhere so you are already you are from the temple so will somebody understand that you are there in the temple because you might have that small smell on you right that fragrance on you but at the same time if suppose you are passing through a place which has smoking or smoking smell or which has very foul smell when you come out of it you yourself will feel stinking smell on your body right does it happen you must have not experienced it but suppose like if it is there some foul smell coming from somewhere you start feeling that vibrations everywhere right you start feeling oh it's not so nice it's not so nice so this is what happens when you are in the association of people around if you are in association of good people the good things the good vibes and uh, you know uh, good habits they start affecting you and the same will happen when you are in association or when you are with bad people or when you are with not so good people right you might you might think oh you know what what's the harm in doing this one thing what's the harm in doing this one thing i'm not going to do it for life long So these things go on happening. So over here, Advaita Acharya and Haridas Thakur, they were in close association, okay, and they were asking for the Lord to come to this world. Isha, you have something to ask? Yes, Mataji. Um, I have actually um felt that um like when people like smoke or something, um, mm -hmm. it's like smells bad, and then it's like, and then you like feel it, and then it just doesn't feel good. yes right so her, uh, uh, once what happened was it was uh, that advaita acharya was during the um, pitru month where he was offering uh, the offerings to his four fathers he had cooked a nice pra prasadam and then the first plate which was served he served it to haridas thakur okay now in uh, in those times again they all knew that haridas thakur was from a muslim family and all the all the brahmanas over there they were a lot offended okay they felt that oh you know what how can advaita acharya offer this plate of prasadam first prasadam plate to a, a muslim person how can he offer that but then advaita acharya knew who a real brahmana is okay a person who is dedicated his life for the chanting of the holy name of the lord a person who has dedicated his life or surrendered his life to the holy name of the lord or a person who is preaching about the lord for him that person was the greatest brahmana okay so when he prepared the prasadam plate the first plate which he offered was to haridas thakur and that gave us a very big lesson i uh, see in those times from the scriptures you can understand that what are our acharyas trying to teach us so for us like we are now understanding that yes who is a real acharya who is a real brahmana but advaita acharya through his actions he had he has made us understand that the a real brahmana is one who is surrendered to the lord who is working for the name of the lord or who is chanting the holy name of the lord who is spreading the holy name of the lord and not taking the credit for himself right so the first plate of prasadam was offered to haridas thakur and he did not bother whether the other brahmanas who had come over there they got offended about it but he did what was right so in this verse when we are doing uh, the canto 3 uh, canto 3 chapter 16 the verse 8 this is what the 
uh, conclusion of this chapter was or what the learning of this chapter is who has not got a chance to read today yes abhigya go ahead conclusion is that if one can feed a brahmana or vaishnava it is better than performing hundreds of thousands of sacrifices in this age therefore it is recommended that haranama chanting the holy name of god and pleasing the vaishnava are only are the only means to elevate oneself to spiritual life but mataji i have a question so mm -hmm. like when like if he offered it to um like a muslim first and then all the other brahmanas were like offended isn't that like a great offense and wouldn't that mean his like devotion would go down okay tell me like if uh, if you're doing something right okay if you're doing the right thing okay you know this question is for everyone if you're doing some doing a right thing and out of 10 eight people are against you okay okay does that mean that whatever you're doing is wrong because eight people are against you and only two people are with you does it mean that way should no. your right or wrong change according to the uh, number of people who are supporting you is more no no right whatever is right is right no matter what isn't it so the quantity does not matter over here the action matters if you are doing whatever is right is right that has to go to the lotus feet of the lord and the lord will decide what is right and wrong so we do not have to decide about what karma we will get from it what the uh, other brahmanas did that was their ignorance right whoever understood it they might have stood or they might have waited again over there or they might have come back but for him whoever was the uh, right person over there for he gave the uh, the first plate to that person right and that was haridas thakur because haridas thakur had already show he was so much immersed in the holy names of the lord that he used to chant for the whole day right so for for him he knew who the real brahmana was and whatever the uh, lord says that already was known right and haridas thakur also he was you know you, you all know right haridas thakur was an incarnation of lord brahma from his previous life and that so happened because of the story of the uh, that um, lord brahma had stolen the calves and the uh, friends of krishna right so when uh, when brahma when brahma ji came to um, like say uh, sorry to krishna that he had not known that he was the lord and he was trying to test him and at that point uh, Brahm, lord brahma ji had got a boon that okay he will be a close associate of the lord when he comes into on this in this material world during the during this yuga okay it it was uh, so haridas thakur is also called as an incarnation of lord brahma okay so everybody is done with this at least we have understood this one part okay we are going slow and steady with this uh, with this chapter over here where is it yeah because there are so many things to learn in this and so slowly we will go with it. Satvik, are you okay, everyone? Did I see Satvik today? Okay. So now we'll be sharing screen where in. I know Radha is going to have it tomorrow, but we'll see how much we can read over here, okay, today in our reading. Everybody can see the glories of Tulsi Puja. I was hearing yes. to Amarindra Prabhu's it's class fantastic. also on the Tulasi Puja, on how Mother Tulasi came into this world and everything. So let us see how many are there, what all mentioned over here. So what we can do is we'll start with Valavrinda. Yes, Mataji. Uh, um, after this, Mataji, do we, what, do we have the Madhava group after this? Or we have the... Mataji, we have the Bhagavatam class. Okay, okay. So we'll, oh, okay, so we'll be on time. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, Balavrinda, can you start? Yes, Mataji. Shri Radha, the goddess of the... Ah, okay, from where is this taken? From Shri Garga Samhita, translated by Sriman. 
You have to read this. Kusa Kratha Das. Okay, you can start with this. Okay, you can start from here. Balavan. The goddess of the Rasa dance spoke to her friends. Chandranana. Chandranana, the best of the knowns of religion. Sri Radha said, please tell me what kind of worship I should perform. So please, Sri Krishna, worship that will bring auspiciousness, auspiciousness piety, and the fulfillment of my desire. Oh, be beautiful one, you heard the religious scriptures from, from Garga Muni's own, own mouth. Yeah. Oh, noble hearted one, please tell me what wow or what worship I should perform. Very good. So, this Sri Radha, Radha Rani is asking, okay. Uh, Abhinav. Hearing Radha's words and reflecting on them in her heart for a moment, Chandran, Chandranana, the best of all mm -hmm. friends, replied, O oh Radha, service to Tulasi gives the greatest piety, the greatest good fortune, and the greatest benediction. It gives Lord Krishna's association. You should always gaze on Tulasi, touch her. Then she will grant your desire. Do I read the yeah, next go ahead, go ahead. They who after <coughs> day after day serve Tulsi in these nine ways to attain uh, nine ways attain the results of pious deeds performed in many thousands of millions in yugas. As many branches, sub-branches, seeds, flowers, and leaves as are on the Tulsi he has planted, so many ancestors and descendants in his family for thousands of kalpa yugas will go to lord krishna's transcendental abode o radha by offering him every flower and leaf that exists a person who with offerings of delicy leaves worship worships lord krishna is not touched by a sin by sin as lotus uh, as lotus is not touched by water a home in the midst of a Tulsi forest is a sacred pilgrimage place. Yamaraja's servants will never enter that home. Very bold. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, yes. Radha? Oh, um, you want to come on video, Radha? So that I can pin you? Oh, come on, Taji. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. For persons who plant, protect, water, see, or touch her, Tulsi burns the sins committed with, with the body, mind, and words. On a single Tulsi leaf, the holy places begin, beginning with Pushkara, the sacred rivers, many will come back, and the deities held by, by Lord Vasudeva reside. Even though stained, with the hundred stems, a person who touches a Tulsi Manjari as he leaves his life does not see a Maharaj. Oh friend, as four-faced Brahma cannot describe all the glories of Lord Krishna, who holds the Sarana bow, so he can he can cannot hold, describe. Cannot describe. Cannot describe all the glories of Tulsi. A man or woman who offers sandal paste at Tulsi to see Krishna Chandra's feet attains the result as I have told to you. <coughs> oh, Gopi, serve Tulsi every day, and Sri Krishna will come under your control, having won his heart. Very good. Uh, Smriti. After hearing, after hearing Chandra Chandrana's words, Sri Radha, the queen of the Rasa dance, in order to please Lord Krishna, began to serve Tulasi, taking Tulasi, beautiful with many green leaves, to the middle of the Ketaki forest and placing her in a Tulasi temple that was round, tall, and a uh, hundred. 
pastures in size beautiful with walls of gold and rubies, splendid with the outer wall of emeralds, diamonds, and pearls, decorated with Shintamani gems, arched gateways, gold flags, and gold awnings everywhere, the glorious like Indra's palace at that time the, at the, of the star Avijit, saintly Radha served Sri Tulasi. Beginning with the full moon of the month of Aswina, September to October, and ending with the full moon of Chaitra, March to April, to please Sri Krishna, singly Radha followed a vow with great devotion. Month after month, she sprinkled Tulasi with milk, sugar cane juice, grape juice, mango juice, panchamta, and many kinds of sweet and cool juices. On the first day of Vaishya, Shaka, April to May, she ended the vow. King Vishabhara's daughter Radha then placed two lakh brahmanas with a great feast of 56 courses. Then Radha gave them Dakshina of 100 bears of gold and pearls to each brahmana. The demigods showered flowers on the Tulasi temple. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. Abhigya? <coughs> Yeah, then seated. Then seated on a glorious throne, on a gold pe pedestal, her eyes like lotus petals, and her gold crown and earrings glittering. Beautiful, beautiful four-armed Tulsi, who is dear to Lord Krishna, appeared, descending from the sky. Tulsi, beautiful as a flowering vine, with her four arms embraced and then kissed Radha, who wore a new white giant garland who, and whose snake-like braids were covered covered with a yellow cloth. Free Tulsi said, O daughter of Kalavati, I am pleased with you. I am eternally conquered by your loving devotion, O beautiful one. As if you were an ordinary human being, you carefully followed this vow. Very good. Uh, who did not read as yet? One second, okay. I'm just going to lower all the hands. Yeah, who did not read? Can you raise your hands, please? Isha, okay. Um, this article or um, this whole thing? Yeah, no, uh, like in this reading, did you read it? No, Mataji. Okay, can you read this part now? <coughs> Desire that fills your heart, mind, intelligence, and senses will be attained. Lord Krishna will be kind to you. You're, you are very fortunate to Tulsi. Who you are spoke very fortunate. To, to, to Tulsi. Tulsi. Spoke these words. Who is dear to Krishna? Radha bowed and said, May ha I have an annoyed and devotion and and roll the notion for Krish, Lord Krishna's lotus feet, saying, "So be it." Krishna beloved, Krishna's beloved Tosi disappeared. Then, Radha, King Rishabhanu's daughter, went home happy at heart. A devotee who hears the wonderful story of Sri Radha attained the first three material of. First three, three goals. goals. First three goals of material life and then the supreme spiritual goal of life. Very good. All glories to Sri Vrinda Devi. Okay. So this was the uh, from Back to Godhead magazine 2008 August 1 edition. So the glories of Tulasi Puja and I uh, really wait let me stop this first. Okay, and I really hope that you all will be present tomorrow when uh, Radha is going to have the presentation on glories of Shrimati Radharan. Oh, sorry, Mataji. of Tulasi, Tulasi Master Maharan. to me, Mataji. Mataji, it's me. Smithy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm missing out, right? Okay, Smriti, sorry. Smriti is going to have a presentation tomorrow about the glories of uh, Tulasi Maharani. Okay, so everybody do attend it. And if you have any queries, you can ask Smriti and she will answer you. Right, Smriti? 
Okay. So what we'll do is we can end the call now and then join tomorrow again. Okay. Happy Bhishma Panchak to you all who, are, uh, who have done. And I hope the Kartik Mass was uh, wonderful. We'll have one class where we'll have realizations if you have any or what, how you followed it, what you did. Okay. We'll have one day for it. Okay. Vancha Kalpata Rupesha Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patita Nam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namo Ananta Koti Vaishnavinda Ki Jai Thank you Mataji for your time in the early morning. No Mataji, thank you so much. I don't know how you do everything. How do you go to your services? We will Mataji. Closing the call dear kids. Bye bye. Bye Krishna.